Hi, I'm Dustin. I'm a solar consultant here at Ambassador Energy. Congratulations on getting your new solar system up and running. I bet you're excited to see your new lower electric bills. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to read those so you can know exactly how much you're saving every month. So here we see your new electric bill after going solar. Just like your old Edison bill, it still shows how much you owe by the end of the billing period. And don't forget to pay that even though you don't have to pay for the electricity anymore. You still need to pay for the fixed charges. A new number that appears after you've gone solar is your cumulative energy charge. This is your running total of how much you would owe Edison at any given time. As you get closer to your true update, you'll want to pay close attention to this number because this is what you'll owe Edison. Finally, the other change on page one is often the cause of confusion for a lot of new solar customers. When they see negative numbers, they often think, that's my solar working and Edison's keeping track of what they're uh, producing and buying back from me. But in actuality, this is the net generation. So when your solar produces energy, it goes straight into your home first and your appliances uh, and your lights use that electricity before Edison ever sees it. So this 313 and 372 uh, show the amount beyond what your home used. These are what will actually be used for your net energy generation credits. After you go solar, you'll want to pay very close attention to page 4 also. This breaks down in detail a lot of information about how you used your power and when you used it. But most importantly, you'll want to pay attention to the new box that gives additional information regarding your net consumption and generation. In this box, each bullet point gives you useful information as you financially plan to pay your electric bill, uh, including what you've paid for, what you've sold, and what your current bill would be. The first line shows your cumulative energy charge total as of the previous month. This is the total of all the electricity that you owe for before this current bill was created. The next line shows the current energy charge. This is how much power you bought in the current month. And the next line shows your cumulative energy charge year to date. This is that running total number that you'll want to pay attention to. So there you have it. Now you know how to read your new electric bills and know exactly how much you're buying and how much you're selling to your electric company every month. Be sure to tell your friends and family how much you're saving because if they go solar with us too, we'd be happy to bring you a $500 referral check.